Hello everyone, it's James Keating back again. Got a brief bit here on this audio uh, version of people ask me things through the email, they ask me things you know in person. One of them is for those people who practice the FMA and they do the exercise or drill known as Hubad Lubad. Hubad Lubad, tying up and untying. There's many versions, many ways to do that. Many people ask, what about the palm up or the palm down versions? Well, palm down more or less grounds your opponent, meaning they become immobile. It's hard for them to move. This is why you slap down. Some people would call that a poxao down. Um, when you lift up, as done in uh, something like what we might call hubud carry method, or as they teach in silat, your palm goes up, you lift the tricep rather than push down on, on the arm. So one grounds the individual, one makes them float. Now, to learn both is advisable. These same things are taught in Tai Chi. So if I want to make the opponent so that they cannot move, I ground them. I touch them and make it so they have a hard time moving, stepping, doing anything. They weigh a thousand pounds. Or I make them very light and make them float and then go away. So you can make them heavy, you can make them float, sometimes you can make them bounce. Well, this is similar to what we're speaking about in the Hubad Lubad. If I lift up, obviously you're going to float away from me. You, you, you lift. If in same for those of you who know the palace suit, you do the same lift on the tricep. You can do the same push down on the elbow or tricep area in the palace suit. So this is it's not something that is should be seen as different or diversive. It, it is not what is best to go down or up. It's just both are the best. You see one, it's called the seminar style of Hubud, then that's taught as a slap down. But it doesn't mean it's the only one you can do or the best one you can do. You should know both. So I would like to say no, no longer should you polarize your thoughts, meaning going from good to bad, right and wrong. These are the extremes because it's really the improper way to view that exercise. Learn to lift up, learn to push down, and all the other thousand variations that come out of Hubad Lubad. Whether you call it Cadena de Mano or Panatukan, this all describes the same thing, the same effort. Maybe just a different phase of it. But in all honesty, it is, I've said this before publicly, there is the greater system of FMA, and then there are the little subsystems, very complete little aspects that are just amazing unto themselves. And that is the Hubad, Lubad, Panatukan, uh, Cadena de Mano, the Chain of Hands, Brush Catch Strike, all these things, Seeking the Path, all these things have relativity. Even relativity to some of the Wing Chun that we do. Uh, Wing Chun and FMA share quite a bit in common. The trick is to find that and realize that. So, this one, as I said, will be short, but I, I heartily encourage you, if you're going to do Hubad Lubad, whether it's with weapons, empty hand, whatever it may be, learn both pushing down, palm down, and then lifting up. If you do these with foot traps or, let's say, options, have a weapon, understand how to catch them with your grip, it makes it even better. But for now, I think that's enough. And again, I, I've said, I'll reiterate, there are no goods and bads. There's just different ways that have different reasons. When we look in the martial arts, we've been taught that good and bad is always the way. Am I doing this right? That's, you, you need to just see what is the proper tool for that moment. That's all it is. It's a decision. If you're driving a nail, you want a hammer. If you're putting in a screw, you use a screwdriver with a Phillips head or whatever it is. You get the right tool and it works perfectly. But it's for that specific job. 
And so when we look at our toolbox and we say this is right, this is wrong, that's limiting because there is no right or wrong. It's just a toolbox and those tools are there for you and I to use however we see fit in whatever way we see fit. Back to conceptualization. So consider this good practicing to you. I'm James Keating. Thanks for listening.